The new movie, The Watchers, is a Shauna Knight Shyamalan's brand new movie. This is also her directorial debut, and she also wrote the screenplay based on a 2022 novel, and her father uh, was producer on this film. And so I took the opportunity earlier today to watch this, and uh, Dakota Fanning stars in this. She plays a um, lady in her late 20s who is in Ireland, and she is dealing with some, <clears throat> some basically some issues, some trauma from the death of her mother 15 years ago. She goes out, and she also often portrays herself as a, as a different person. And one day, her job, she works at a pet store, asks her to take a bird to another place. And along the way, uh, her car breaks down basically in the middle of nowhere. She comes upon an older lady who takes her into a, a building where her and three other people have been staying. And they're basically held captive by, I'm going to say, creatures that they call the Watchers. And that is the basis of this story. Now, it is not... A, a good movie at all now like I said this is her directorial debut so I'm gonna give her some some slack I hope that she gets some more opportunities to do some directing because I think the the promise is there um, I do like a lot of her father M. Night Shyamalan's work now there are some rough pieces here and there but I think he does a good job overall and I think over time she'll be able to reach that status this movie really felt more like one of his movies, but it was very slow in the pacing. I was very bored for a lot of it. It clocks in in about an hour and 40 minutes, and it just felt way longer than that. By the time it reached the third act, where you learn the the uh, twist and everything, and, and to me this wasn't quite twists on the level of a lot of M. Night's twists. A lot of this stuff you could figure out um, you know, as, as clues and things were given. So I didn't feel it was quite as twisty as as her dad's work. But again, she's basing this on, on a novel, so it's not her own original work. But by the time I reached that point, I just really didn't care anymore. I really didn't care what happened to the characters. I was not invested in them whatsoever. So I really, really did not like this movie at all. Personally, if I were you, I would just wait till this comes out on streaming. I would not spend my money at all. It is one of the worst movies of the year. In fact, I can only give it zero stars out of five.